Hello, my name is Salman Shahi and I'm one of the composers featured in Symphony of Toronto's performance on May 7th at George Weston Hall. Uh, my piece titled Suspended Doorways for String Orchestra will receive its third performance, third Canadian performance that evening and I just cannot wait to be there. Uh, this piece was originally commissioned by the Whispering River Orchestra uh, in Perry Sound, uh, directed by Brenda Mueller. Uh, I actually conducted the premiere performance of this in September of 2020, right at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, the piece was inspired by a painting by a uh, Perry Sound artist, uh, Michael Sywink, titled Imperfections or Doorways is what it is. Uh, the, the painting has a sense of improvisation and, and um, it has a very free and liberated quality to it. The way Michael uses uh, colors and the way he transitions from one color to the next, uh, and he he puts the all of the planet Earth right in the middle of the of the painting in a tiny little blue dot, reminding us that this is all we have, uh, and we have to we have to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves and taking care of our planet, and also that we need to breathe and and, and be present and enjoy the moment. And I think these are all really really uh, important and uh, vital. Uh, sentiments that he's he's um, bringing up in his painting and after many conversations with him um, I try to reflect the same in, in the piece so my piece has a lot of uh, really slow moving lines um, that gradually grow in dynamic in volume and gradually descend in volume um, and that there are these really, really big sound structures and chords um, um, the piece also has a very personal nature to both myself and Michael uh, and um, for that reason is very dear to my heart. Um, I was also lucky that the Toronto Symphony Orchestra uh, picked this piece as one of their uh, selections for the Explore the Score program in uh, 2021. Uh, I was one of the young composers that they selected and this piece actually was read and recorded by the Toronto Symphony earlier this year. Um, I'm very excited that this will be the first public performance of this piece in Toronto. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited that uh, people are going to be able to come in and enjoy it. And I want to thank all the team, administrative team and artistic team at Symphony of Toronto for being so resilient over the past two years and still bringing music uh, to the public and presenting them with quality uh, programming. Uh, Maestro Arman and the amazing musicians at the, at the Symphony of Toronto are working really hard. And I cannot wait to be there on May 7th. And I hope to see you there as well.